Today, I want to talk about The Sims 4 and what needs to happen here in the year 2019 for me not to just completely quit playing this game. Now, I've seen other YouTubers make this video, and I think this is a video that needs to be made by every single Sim YouTuber out there. I want to hear every Sim YouTuber's grievances with The Sims 4. And if we all talk about our grievances with The Sims 4, maybe EA will step up and actually do some things that the community really wants to see. Now, this isn't going to be a video hating on The Sims 4. That's something I'm going to kind of do next Sunday, because every Sunday I want to do something like this, where we sit down and talk about something that needs to change with The Sims 4, or something going on in the community, or just something I need to get off my chest. But this video is going to be all about what I want to see EA do this year to make The Sims 4 a more bearable experience, a better game. Basically, I'm gonna go over two expansion packs I'd like to see released, maybe one game pack, and one stuff pack. Some numbers that will blow your mind is The Sims 4 has been out nearly five years now. The Sims 3 life cycle was about five years as well. In The Sims 3's five years, they released 11 expansion packs. The Sims 4 has only released six, and The Sims 3 only released nine stuff packs. The Sims 4 has released 14. We have all this stuff, but it just doesn't feel like we actually have enough to make the game good. If you ask me, expansion packs are the lifeblood of any Sims franchise. The Sims 1 had a lot of expansions, Sims 2, Sims 3, and they were all great expansions that really added a ton of different gameplay and made the game feel different every time something came out. Now with some expansion packs, I can barely tell a difference when I install them. I, I feel like the game didn't really change and yet I spent 40 or $50. Get Together was a prime example of a bad expansion pack, an expansion that didn't add much value to most players. Obviously getting together, having a club, that's a fun concept, but that definitely could have been a game pack, if anything. So what I want this year is two expansion packs that are going to change the gaming landscape of The Sims 4, and a game pack that will do the same as well. A game pack that will offer quite a lot more than some of the game packs in the past. Now if you guys don't remember, game packs are a new thing to The Sims. The Sims 3 didn't have game packs. The Sims 4 has already had, I think, six. And, I mean, these just feel like half-baked expansion packs in my opinion, but I'll touch more on that next Sunday when I go over everything wrong with The Sims 4 and what's happened to make The Sims 4 this bad. But okay, let me get in to what I want to see happen in 2019 here. And if you agree with any of the points I'm about to make, make sure you hit that like button, guys. Show some support on this video, because if EA sees this and they see a lot of support on it, maybe they'll know that this is something that we all want or something that we want changed. So show the love on that like button and let me know in the comments what you want to see added to The Sims 4 this year. I'd love to read your comments and go through them and reply to some of you guys and see if we're all on the same page or maybe you guys have some good ideas too. Okay, let's touch on the expansion packs because I feel like this is where we're lacking. I would love to see three expansion packs come out this year, but I just don't know if that's really possible. Obviously, there are a lot of work and The Sims team is hard at work and I don't blame The Sims team for how The Sims 4 has turned out. I blame uh, corporate America because obviously it's all about the bottom line and if they can release more packs packs that they don't have to work as hard on, such as game packs and stuff packs, they're going to make more money. Between stuff packs and game packs, we already have 20 of them for The Sims 4, and we only had 9 total stuff packs for The Sims 3 in its whole lifetime. So I mean, that's just showing you how much quick, easy content they're trying to put out to just quickly grab some of those dollars. $10 for a stuff pack, and what is it, like 20 or $30 for a game pack? They're just trying to grab as much money as they can, and I can't blame the gurus, they're not making that decision. So I'm blaming, I guess, EA uh, corporate and all their finance teams are making these decisions and and I mean I just want to see it changed. So I think there's two expansion packs that a lot of people would want to see, and I'm going to go over one first here, and that's The Sims 4 University. Obviously, this is something that should have been probably one of the first three or four expansion packs, to be completely honest. Uh, obviously, Get to Work had, had potential. It wasn't a great expansion pack. Get Together, in my opinion, wasn't great at all. Obviously, we've had City Living, which was really good. Get Famous was pretty pretty good the town wasn't that great and and then we had um what else do we have pets and seasons uh pets and seasons they're they were so small this year that i feel like they could have been like dropped together in one expansion pack called like wildlife 
and it gives you seasons and like cats and dogs because I mean we didn't get horses we didn't get any of the other pets in those expansion packs so I mean those could have been combined but university is such a big pack university could add a full new town it adds an associate's degree a bachelor's degree a master's degree it adds classes it adds dorm rooms it adds off-campus housing it adds fraternities and sororities it adds like all of these new elements in socialization but also in gameplay so obviously say I'm a freshman in college and I want to rush a frat maybe there's two or three frats I can choose from to rush and I and like like in Sims 3 you could be a nerd a jock a rebel I mean that was such a fun expansion pack and it added so much not only for youtubers and let's players but also for people that just play the game for fun it actually allows you to have more feeling of progression more feeling of generations because your kids go from baby to toddler to child to teenager then to college where you're kind of in this young adult limbo and then full-fledged adult then they have kids it, it just feels like a more generational experience when you have university not that everyone in real life goes to university but having this option in game I think is really fun plus it helps you better in your careers so say maybe it takes longer to level up in careers if you don't go to university but if you go to university maybe you level up quicker or you skip like four or five levels I think that would be a really interesting piece of gameplay mechanics. And I really want the university town to feel alive, the university world. I would love little shops that people can go to. I would love hangout areas like lounges or like hookah bars, you know, bubble bars, whatever you want to call it. I would love places where college students can go and maybe get a little part-time job. And I would love for jobs to be more interactive. If you guys have ever played The Sims Herbs on the GameCube way back in the day, those jobs were so much fun, making earrings for piercings and, and you actually had to like physically do the job. Like with get to work I really thought that's what it was going to be and it really just doesn't feel like that I, I just want university to have a big school with three different degrees associates bachelors and masters I want there to be dorm rooms I want there to be off-campus housing I want there to be fraternities at least two and at least two sororities as well and I want there to be classes like nerds uh, jocks uh, rebels you know, I want there to be that class system that really makes people want to fit in to their little piece of Americana pie you know I want to be a nerd or I want to be a jock or I want to be a rebel I want people to be able to make that decision and in this world like I said I want shops that are unique to it like an arcade I think an arcade would be really fun I think like a hookah lounge I think like a Starbucks where there's lots of laptops and and like computers that you can use to get your homework done I, I think that would all be really really fun and really make the college experience experience come alive so if they do a university pack this year I want it to be in depth I want it to be detailed and I want it to feel like I'm in college because a lot of the expansion packs in the Sims 4 so far have fallen really flat to where they're just like kind of still like game packs they don't feel like full expansions so that's what I really really want uh, as one of my first expansions released this year and the second one I want released is is kind of a play on Island Paradise from The Sims 3. I want a tropical expansion pack that basically allows players to live in a tropical world. There's my cat walking across the screen. Cleo, I'm talking about The Sims and how they need to change in 2019. And you're just coming here for the pets? Okay, fine. I'll give you the pets. I'm petting her. There we go. She's laying down. I will continue to pet her. So if I harvest movie, that's what's happening. Okay, so... Yes, Island Paradise, that's what I really badly want. A world that's tropical, a world that feels like you're on a vacation all the time. I would like to have unique shops, like maybe like fruit stands and um, souvenir shops and other businesses that the Sims themselves can start, like that are like kind of like being your own business owner, but with maybe a food cart or a, or a like fruit stand or a balloon stand, something like that that your Sims can run and operate to make money from tourists. And also, I want to be able to own and manage hotels again. That was so much fun in The Sims 3, being able to own and operate your own hotel from a one star all the way to a five star. That was just such a fun experience in The Sims 3, and I would love for it to come back to The Sims 4. Now, I know in The Sims 3, that game caused a lot of problems for a lot of people. Uh, Island Paradise was, like, very glitchy, and it ended up crashing people's games. It actually ruined my first Sims 3 series. After 26 episodes, my, my save file got corrupted trying to load into uh, Island Paradise. So, I mean... Obviously, they can fix those problems here with The Sims 4, but I would love an Island Paradise pack to where your Sims can go on vacation, they can live in this tropical paradise, they can own and operate a hotel there, 
there's a lot of tropical themed businesses and and places to go there not just a gym a lounge a museum i don't want that that is so boring i mean with hollywood they should have did such different things with get famous they shouldn't have just had a gym a lounge a museum like that is just so repetitive and so boring not every city needs that if i want to go to a museum i could have went to one of the previous cities not every city needs a museum and a museum is such a waste of space i feel like no one really utilizes the museum so i would like to see an island paradise if they do an expansion pack like that i would like to see stuff that you can only go to in tropical paradises like different experiences and shops and and different businesses you can own and I just think owning a hotel and operating a hotel would be so amazing and turning into a giant resort uh, that was such a fun aspect of the Sims 3 and if they could do that in the Sims 4 I would just be so grateful so like I said the two expansion packs I want to see University and Island Paradise this year adding those I think adds so 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 much now Let's get into the game pack. I want to see now. I feel like this isn't worthy of an expansion It's worthy of a game pack and I think the game pack should be called trans Transportation or mass transit Okay, a mass transit game pack that adds cars trucks motorcycles uh, boats um, taxis, trains, buses, subway systems, airplanes, just adds like a feeling of movement to the game. Bicycles, you know, I want to be able to, if I'm a sim, own, an, uh, own a car, own a uh, truck, own a motorcycle, own a pedal bike, uh, own a skateboard, I don't know, get around town in different ways, that's what I want. Because right now when I get picked up for work, I just go to the edge of the road and then I disappear. I would like a carpool to come, or a city bus, or a taxi, or a Lyft, or an Uber, I mean, uh, and it would be awesome with that game pack to add the ability to be like an Uber driver, like your sim gets in their car, you click your car, if you own a car, and you say drive for Uber, and then your sim just goes away for like as long as you want them. You can say like drive two hour shift for Uber, drive four hour shift for Uber, drive eight hour shift for Uber, and then your sim comes back with various amounts of money. I mean, I think that would be amazing. And you can even add like drive for um, Grubhub. You know, like I think adding that as a, you could add it as a stuff pack if you just want to give people cars as cosmetics. But if you want to make gameplay of it, make it a game pack. Please make it a game pack. I don't want just cosmetic cars sitting in my driveway that my sims once in a while get into and go off on their own. I want it to add some type of gameplay, like I said, Uber, Lyft, Grubhub, something like that, where you click on these cars and you can go and be an Uber driver or a Lyft driver or a Grubhub driver, or Uber Eats or whatever, just a way to earn extra income or a way to be your own boss. I think that's just what The Sims is all about, living the dream. And uh, I think that would be a really cool game pack. Mass Transit, it could be called. Uh, your Sims could travel via plane places. I don't know. Maybe they could become a pilot uh, as a career. Uh, I just think there's a lot you could do. Or a ship captain. Um, and, and that would just be amazing. And Island Paradise should include cruise ships, too. I think that would be so cool. Uh, like, World Adventures was such a big expansion for The Sims 3, where you had, like, three different vacations you could go on. Our Jungle Adventure... Uh, game pack only had one place you could go and it wasn't that great so I mean I just want to see our expansion packs be much bigger much larger and our game packs still add enough gameplay to make them worth the money now stuff packs I really don't have anything I would add we already have 14 stuff packs I mean I remember that community poll happening not too long ago where people voted for laundry day stuff over eco living stuff I mean if anything make eco living stuff uh, like where you can live off the grid or you can live um, you know with no big footprint uh, uh no carbon footprint you know like maybe there's teslas maybe there's solar panels stuff like that eco living would be a cool stuff pack so if you want to add a stuff pack this year which i know you do um then add that so if you add those four things you've now made the game like from a c minus to probably like a b plus to be completely honest as long as you do the expansion packs right university island paradise mass transit and eco living those are my four suggestions, two expansions, one game pack, and one stuff pack. Let me know what you guys think of my suggestions in the comments. Hit that like button if you agree with my suggestions. And if you want EA to see this video, send it to them on Twitter. Uh, let's get their attention, guys, because if they do this, this it would just change the game so much. But thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, remember to take it easy. Lemon squeezy.